Hey, it's Mr. Johns. Welcome back to Hot Wheels Mustangs. In 1980, when they came out with the Turbo Mustang, it was my least favorite Hot Wheels Mustang yet. And still is, by the way. The 1980s, which, by the way, is my era. I was in junior high and high school in the 80s, graduated in 1985. I like some of the music. It brings back a lot of memories for me. But the cars were terrible. They were so ugly. Even a Corvette or a Mercedes, maybe a Ferrari. I'm not sure about Ferrari. But even Corvettes are square, boxy, ugly in the 80s. I wouldn't want one. That's how bad they are. And the Mustang, really no different. These things were just square. Lost all of their curve and shape and style. So um, the 80 Turbo Mustang based on the 79 Ford Mustang Cobra... Um, led to the next year of Hot Wheels Mustangs. In 1981, another Turbo Mustang. Now, the reason this is fairly cool at all is because you could only get this car in a collector's three-pack with a collector's book. So that makes it interesting. Now, I did buy it online like... Like all of the older Hot Wheels, I don't go looking at flea markets and garage sales. It's just that's a waste of my time. I'm looking for very specific years and colors. And, you know, with the internet where you can just go to eBay and pick one up for 25 bucks or more, um, it's not a bad way to go um, and add to your collection a little bit at a time as you can afford it, right? So um, I didn't get the collector's book. I don't know what the other two cars were in the collector's pack, but I have the car. So it's orange with yellow, red, and black stripes. It has the basic wheels. It has red interior, and it's the only orange turbo Mustang and, and the only orange turbo Mustang with a yellow Cobra on the hood. So that makes it unique, and I'm glad I have it. For that, and I really don't have a choice because it's the only Mustang that came out in 1981 by Hot Wheels, by Mattel Hot Wheels. Um, so I kind of had to buy it. So that's it. That's it for 1981. And although I got a little bit crazy researching the 8, 9, 10 Turbo Mustangs, trying to find out what year is what. You know, it's it's quite a research project, believe it or not. Um, a lot of people still get it wrong. They flip the car over and look at the bottom. So you look look at the bottom of the car and they think whatever dates on the bottom is what date of the car is wrong. Um, the date is, and I've said this before, the date is when they stamped it, when they made the mold the first year. So it can be a decade or two old. So don't ever go by that. Uh, another thing to watch out for is on the bottom, it'll say made in Malaysia, China, Japan, Mexico, um, USA. What did I miss? Hong Kong. So Hong Kong and Malaysia um, are the main ones, but you have to watch for that too. So if you do your research and you find out that it's a Hong Kong casting, but you have a Malaysia casting, then you've got the wrong year. So it's still not a, an exact science. It's still fairly hard to track down sometimes what year a car is for sure but that's part of the fun and uh that's what kind of keeps me going so that's it for the 1981 mustang hot wheels mustang the turbo mustang and we'll catch you next year mr johns out